All right, guys. So I just got my first workout in in a while. Man, it's a tough one. Boom. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joannis or Joe Hatagua. I'm a Sierra Leonean American living here in Accra, Ghana. And if you want to know what it's been like for me living here in Ghana this last week, then this is the video for you. Okay, cool. So I got three updates for you guys. Um, number one is the house update. Number two, I went to a gym here locally for the first time. It's actually really close to my apartment. So I went to the gym, wanted to check it out, uh, used it, got a workout in. So you'll check that out. Uh, and then lastly, I also had to go pick up a MiFi from a crowd mall from a company called Surfline. So here we go. Okay, the first update is the house update. Unfortunately, there is no update. My contractor told me that he had malaria. So there's two reasons why I'm doing the air quotes. Number one, anytime um, someone gets sick in Sierra Leone, they don't go to a doctor in general, they go to the pharmacist. And the pharmacist will just guess, based on your symptoms, what they think you have. Um, and they're not necessarily clinically trained always to be able to diagnose someone. And so almost every time someone gets sick, they just tell them they have malaria. They have no idea what, it, what else it is, unless they do a COVID test. But they generally just say they have malaria. So um, I don't know if he was actually sick, which was part of the reason for the air quotes. Um, and if he was sick, who knows if it actually was malaria. But he said he had malaria and he was sick. So no work has been done over the last week on the house. As you can imagine, that's frustrating for me because we're already about six to eight weeks behind schedule. At this point in time, right now as we're speaking, the second phase was supposed to be being completed as we speak. And I was getting ready to go to Sierra Leone to get all the electricity done, you know, solar and the, um, the traditional hooking up to the grid and all of that. And unfortunately, we just haven't made that much progress as of yet. So just being patient and looking to see if maybe over the next three or four weeks, this phase is completed and then I can plan my trip to Sierra Leone. So that's update number one. Update number two is the gym. So nice gym, all the amenities that you need. Um, they have a room for aerobics and fitness classes. They also have a bunch of weights. They have a TV, they have plenty of good music. So really, uh, and enough, enough space for you to do your workout. So, check it out. Let's go to the local gym for the first time. So I'm gonna go check it out, see what it looks like. Get a workout in. So, check it out. It's the lobby area. CCTV. All right, guys. So I just got my first workout in in a while. Whew, man, it was a tough one. It was a good one to get started just to get the blood flowing, you know, get back in the routine of getting up earlier and, you know, getting some movement in. So. It's gonna be the first of many. I like the gym, nice and quiet. It's not busy. There's a crowded street though, people drive by all the time. But the gym is not busy. So, you know, you get the weights to yourself. You have your own space. Uh, since there's not enough people there, there's no worry about physical distancing. So overall, good workout. All right, that's it. All right, cool, so that's the gym. Um, I don't know if that's what you were expecting. It's kind of what I was expecting, 
everything you really need. Um, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, but just, just, and oh, by the way, it's priced right too. It's right around 400 Ghana CDs for the month. Um, so that's not too bad. I think that translates to, I don't do math in public, but you'll see the number here on the screen. I'll tell you what that translates to here. But yeah, not too bad considering, um, you know, how much gyms cost elsewhere. So that's update number two. All right, update number three is going to buy MiFi. So uh, I actually went to Accra Mall. They have a stand in the mall um, called Surfline. Surfline is one of the major companies here that offer uh, Wi-Fi and internet service. And so I had to buy MiFi, so a portable MiFi. Just something that can be a backup for me whenever I am without internet. Uh, in my apartment um, on Saturday morning, the Wi-Fi just went out completely. I called my representative at MTN. He told me it was a system-wide issue. And so you gotta have backup. So this is definitely gonna help me when I'm on the road, on the way to, to and from the office, because you know when I'm going to the office and coming back, it's about an hour and a half total. So about 45 minutes one way, 45 to 50 minutes the other way, basically about an hour and a half total on the road. And so I wanna be able to be productive and on the internet. So that's one. Two, as I mentioned, well, I already mentioned in the house, the power or the internet can go out from time to time and it's just good to have a backup, um, especially if the power goes out and if the MiFi has juice, then I can use this um, if that ever happens. That's happened a few times where the power went out and the generator wasn't working and so no access to the internet. Uh, so that's also helpful. And then number three is when I'm in the office. Because believe it or not, in the office, the internet goes out um, and it really poses a challenge when you have a call with a client coming up in two minutes, you don't know if the internet's going to be back. And so um, having this MiFi is just going to be able to help me with that. Uh, so I'll be using this to be able to stay productive when, the, uh, when power goes out or when the internet goes out. So check it out. All right, guys, I'm on my way now to Accra Mall to go to the Surfline stand there. I'm going to get a Wi-Fi. Um, as you guys know, I spent a lot of time in the car, and um, not being on the internet has probably been the biggest challenge for me for being productive while I'm in a vehicle. You know, usually I spend about an hour and 30 minutes in the car every single day. And so with that time, I prefer to be, you know, answering emails and doing things that will help me get through some of the daily tasks of the day. So I'm gonna get this Surfline MiFi. Um, I've heard of other people using it. It seems to work pretty well here. So I'm gonna try it out. So um, yeah, check it out. This is 315, this is 255. Okay, what's the difference? So the difference is this one connects up to 16 devices, this one connects up to 10. Okay. Um, Huawei is a more reputable brand, right? Alright, I'll go with Huawei. Can I have your ID? How long is the battery life on this? It's three to five hours, depending on the number of connections. Okay, so the number of connections depletes the battery life, okay. And does this work everywhere in Accra? What are the better areas, just so I know? Like, the I'm. I, are within, like the borders of Accra. Yeah. Okay, because I'm in East Lake going a lot, and then Chado, okay, okay. And it seems pretty straightforward, that's battery life here, yeah. that's the connection. Yes. Um, it'll only be either green or red? Yes. Okay. Charge it for three hours before I start using it. This is the adapter, but there isn't a plug for the wall, so I need to have my own plug. That's fine. 
Can I pay with card? Um, I'm going to do the 185 for 330. Oh, there's a bonus? So I'm getting basically double the, the gigs. Okay, the other question I have is refilling. Okay, so do you use Espresso? Um, no, I don't. I do, I do use mobile money. So, mobile money. This are the mobile money short code. Okay, so those are the mobile money short codes. So, any one of those? Any one, yes. Okay. So this is your set line number or account number. When you dial the code, I think one of the code will ask your set line number. The other two will ask your account number. They okay. Are all the same. Okay. So this is your account number and set line number. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. All right. Cool. So those were the three major updates. Uh, don't forget to check out last Monday's video. We get into a really, really spirited discussion about one, the anti-LGBTQ laws that uh, we talked about previously. I bring that back up and I have some comments and some new updates there. And then also, we also talk about reparations this week. So people had a lot of questions about reparations and who deserves them, who doesn't, all those kinds of things. So I did some research and I brought it to the discussion uh, with, with you all and the group of subscribers. So check that out if you haven't yet. And then the next video you're gonna see from me is gonna be a tour of Atlantic Longley Hotel in Freetown, Sierra Leone. It's one of the more high-end hotels there and I think you'll definitely like it. So with that, if you like the content that you've seen in this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Make sure you comment. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to know about or if you have any questions about what my life is like here in Ghana. And of course, don't forget to share it with anybody who's planning to move to Ghana or who might want to be building in Sierra Leone who want to know what that process looks like. Uh, and make sure you also subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell and hit it for all so you're always notified every time a new video comes out. All right, guys, with that, Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.